the Jason Burke Maiden is next. Uh, this is the longest race of the week, I think. It's a four mile maiden. And also with some Grand National horses in this one. The top one is Bold Ransom. Oh, Paul Rhodes jump into the fire. Leon Van Rensburg, Lakota Ghost. Or Obi Wan, National Nightmare, Joshua Sutherland, Opus Safari, Ryan Costello, Over the Road, John Morgan, Raging Storm, Craig Beckwith, Zami Thinker, or Graham Clutterbuck, Zero Tolerance, Jim Murray, Bird on the Lawn, Darren Thompson, Blanche Neige for Alex Cherry, Blue Penny for Martin Leland, Chrysalis Future, James Shea, Close, Close Nosed for David Robertson, Inflation Stamps, Two Grain, Ninth Edition, Craig Allen, and Sal's Beauty, David Hooney. So, good big figure for, for this one, 17 of them. And off they go. And most of these get in the first of their four mile races in so they qualify for the Grand National should they want to go there later in the season and they get to the first of the 25 and they're all safely over it and of course with no opportunity to substitute horses this season you're going to go with what you've got unless you've left some spaces which they get to the second is not a tactic that I think is particularly good because you just costing yourself potential winners in the first six weeks of the season, aren't you? So, anyway, it's National Nightmare in the lead from Bold Ransom in second, and those two are a good six to eight lengths clear of oh, Inflation Stamp, who just about third as they get to this first ditch, which is fence number three. And they're all safely over it. Well, they're two a little bit ponderous at the back, but long way to go. Four miles of the trip, and the rain coming down as well will make this a bit of a test. And National Nightmare is in the lead. Joshua Sutherland knocks the name his potential Grand National horses with the word National. So that's a bit of a clue that this is one of the ones that he thinks is heading for the end of season showpiece in about 11 weeks time as they get over fence number four. And National Nightmare is in the lead by about two. To Bold Ransom in second and that's one of Paul Rhodes's new set of silks and over the road for John Morgan in third the great gap of a good four or five lengths then to the rest of them who are headed by another great zero tolerance for Jim Murray and Opa Safari that one was definitely around last season as they take number six with Blanche Neige after that one and then jump into the fire Ninth edition. Bird on my lawn. I'm pretty sure that one won one of the trials races in pretty good style, so it'd be interesting to see how that one does when yeah, it's racing proper. And then towards the back, Sal's Beauty is just about the back marker in shot. Lakota Ghost is out of shot at the moment. I'll just get to see it take up fence, maybe not. They're all safely over it though. And National Nightmare is clear by a good six or seven lengths to Bold Ransom and over the road and they gap to zero tolerance and Chrysalis Futures they take number eight which it looks like they've all got over nicely as well but they are very well strung out at this point and they're still an awful long way to go it's two and a half miles plus still to go and National Nightmare is clear in the lead and Bold Ransom it's pretty much the same as it has been. They've watched the Indian fight, at least the first eight or nine of them are anyway. With National Nightmare the leader. Bold Ransom second as they take number nine. Bold Ransom was pretty untidy that one, gave it a bit of a wallop. And has subsequently surrendered second to Over the Road. At least momentarily anyway as they take the next. Much better jump that time by Bold Ransom. You see the rest of the field streaming over it. Inflation stamp. Uh, just the back marker in shot with Lakota Ghost in the yellow jacket. Not visible to the cameraman at this point as they take number 11. And the stake that time was by Chrysalis Future. Oh, carries on jumping like that. It won't have much of a future, so it needs to sort itself out. And its National Nightmare is clearing the lead. Nothing seems all that keen to get any closer to it at this stage as they take number 12. And Inflation Stamp is starting to get a bit detached now as well which makes me wonder just how far back Lakota Ghost is but it's National Nightmare is clear only by about three though so over the road in second and Bold Ransom third I take that one and Zero Torrance is a clear fourth 
gap then back to Opus Safari and Chrysalis Future are running together, then another gap of a few lengths to Blanche Neige and then Ninth Edition and Jump Into the Fire. Then after that one comes Raging Storm and Close Nosed is next with Blue Penny and then Sal's Beauty. Um, Bird on the Lawn is alongside that one and then a little bit of a gap back to Zami Thinker. And that one's now had a shot along with Inflation Stamp and Lakota Ghost. Taking finish number 14 and again Bold Ransom made a mistake and so too did Zero Tolerance and down in the field there the mistake was jump into the fire so three of the big guns making mistakes and the leader hasn't put a foot wrong so far oh, Zero Tolerance chucked that one really well after making a mistake of the one before when they caught past the stand then they've still got another circuit to go and National Nightmare not having much of a nightmare at the moment and he's three lengths clear of over the road in second. Bold Ransom is third, zero tolerance is four. We take number 16. And race away from us. And we'll save me over that one. Blue Penny is now the back marker in shot with the three that appear to be tailing off as we think our inflation stamp on Lakota goes but as they race momentarily downhill most of this track on the uphill but this bit's downhill and this national nightmare is in the lead by three to Bold Ransom who's in second over the road is third and zero tolerance is four gap back to Crystal Future in five and then Opus Safari in six as they take this ditch and over it they go with ninth edition in seventh and then moving up again jump into the fire and close nosed and then raging storm and sal's beauty and blanche niche has now dropped back a little bit bird on the lawn on the outside of blue pin and i think we can safely write the back three off as out of contention as they take number 18. and over that one they go and they're all still standing in this which is good for the trainers who are hoping to get these in the Big long distance races later on in the season. I'm sure the Moors Millions will be starting next week probably as well. Lots of opportunities for these long distance horses to win some races. And with only about 18 or 20 trainers in this season in the jump side, it may even be less than that. And double um, entries. We could get some small fields next week. So there'll be opportunities to pick up plenty of wins, I think, over the jumps this season. And over that one they go. And the mistake that time at the back was by Raging Storm as... Zami Thinkar comes back into shot, but back up at the business end of the race, they take fence number 20, and Bold Ransom has now jumped alongside National Nightmare. Gap back to the two grey zero tolerance and over the road, then another gap back to Chrysalis Future, running on nicely his ninth edition, that one looks to be going well, also coming out of the pack now, he's jumping to the fire as they take the next, and over that one they all go, with National Nightmare. Reasserting again and now gone two lengths clear again from Bold Ransom in second. Zero tolerance is third. Look at this ninth edition come round here. So I jumped that one really well and has jumped into third. There's a faller. Chrysalis Future's gone. Uh, Chrysalis Future's made a couple of mistakes and is now out of the race as National Nightmare kicks on with four furlongs to go and only three to jump and he's kicked on for home and ninth edition has covered the move. It's, nice, it's National Nightmare from ninth edition. They call it the third last. That's the final ditch and National Nightmare surrenders the lead to ninth edition who's suddenly burst into the lead. There's still a long way to go though, and an uphill finish. It's ninth edition who's suddenly gone three or four clear of National Nightmare in second. Zero tolerance is third. Jump into the fire is Renon, then comes over the road. Now Bird on the lawn is starting to get going. We know that one can finish. It's ninth edition in the lead by two lengths to zero tolerance who's moved into second. National Nightmare is third. Then comes Jump into the fire and over the road. Bird on the lawn still getting closer. Over the second last they go, and now zero tolerance has taken it up. Ninth edition may have gone too soon and looks to be tiring it's zero tolerance who's in the lead zero tolerance for Jim Murray zero tolerance in the lead National Nightmare is trying to come back over the final fence they go and it's zero tolerance from over the road who's trying to chase it's a short run in and it's zero tolerance who's going to take this one for Jim Murray zero tolerance it's going to be a great one too zero tolerance is the winner over the road is second National Nightmare third close nose run on Wadaby fourth and then Sal's Beauty also ran on well as well and all the way back to Lakota Ghost, who I don't think was in shot for the entire race, but has managed to get around. And Zero Tolerance takes it, and Craig Allen must have thought he'd got that one in the bag when his horse went for home, but it surely must have gone far too soon. I don't think he even finished in the top seven or eight in the end. It just went out like a light. 
And Buna, my lawn didn't finish well either, but Zero Tolerance takes it for Jim Murray. Over the road for John Morgan, second. National Nightmare for Joshua Sutherland was third. Close Nose for David Robertson, fourth. And Jump Into the Fire for Leon van Rensburg was fifth. But of course, by the time we get to the Grand National, it's going to be handicaps, isn't it? And maybe the ones that have finished fifth, sixth, seventh or eighth might well be thinking they're better off finishing fifth, sixth, seventh or eighth than winning this because Zero Tolerance is obviously going to be given weight away wherever he goes next week. So Zero Tolerance takes it for Jim Murray.